Oh gosh, I feel terrible. I need a doctor. Relax, Miley. Let's call a doctor just to make sure. What if I'm about to, you know. Don't worry, you are not going to die. I know a doctor who can come by. You do? Hey there, I heard someone's not feeling great. That's me. I can feel it. Let's not jump to conclusions. I'm Dr. Smith. What's bothering you? I feel like I'm fading away. Just a little fever, nothing serious. <gasps> really? Yep, just the common flu. You'll be up and about in no time. Phew! I was totally overreacting, huh? Happens all the time. Don't hesitate to call if you're worried. Remember, I'm just one call away. You were right. Having a doctor visit isn't a nightmare. And you're a drama queen. Fine, whatever. Can we get ice cream now? I survived after all. Absolutely. I recommend you not to. At the dental care. Hey Jake, long time no see. What brings you to the dental care today? I cracked a tooth while having some popcorn during movie night. Oh, popcorn strikes again. How about you, Amy? I'm here for a regular cleaning. I figured it's better to keep my teeth sparkly. Haha, <laughs> you're right. Last time I was here, the dentist found a popcorn kernel in my mouth. That's the popcorn secret revenge plan. Dr. Lee, you know the popcorn's evil plot better than anyone. Absolutely, Amy. And Jake, remember to take it easy on your teeth. Popcorn might be tiny, but it can be a tough enemy for teeth. I'm learning the hard way, Dr. Lee. At least we're in good hands here. And Jake, you should use the floss. It's a game changer. Indeed, it's very effective. Dental care is a whole new world to me now. Alright Jake, let's fix that tooth and ensure it's popcorn proof.
Thanks, Dr. Lee. And Amy, please wait for a little bit. We will be back to you in no time. No worries, Dr. Lee. I can wait. And good luck in the chair, Jake. Ugh, being sick at home is no fun. Aw, oh, I know, sweetheart. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. A. Take care of. B. Took care of. C. Taken care of. Yes, son. We're all here for you. Thank you, Mom and Dad. But being sick is still no fun at all. How about some warm chicken soup to make you feel better? Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Hey, Jim. How are you holding up? Not so great, Dad. My nose feels like a faucet. A. Phone. B. Faucet. C. Cassette. Well, I've got just a solution for that. The tissue box of ultimate power. Thanks, Dad. You're the tissue king. And here's your bowl of chicken soup. Mmm, this tastes like love. While you're sipping on love, how about some entertainment? A. Sipping B. Shipping C. Tipping Yay! Operation Cheer Up is in full swing! Achoo! Achoo! Uh-oh. I think I caught the sniffles from you, buddy. A. Catch B. Taunt C. Caught Oh no, Dad! What do we do? Looks like Operation Cheer Up will have to be changed to Operation Take Care of Dad too. I'm in good hands then. Just pass me that tissue box. Don't worry, Dad. We'll take care of you, just like you took care of me. What a beautiful day! Right, this is probably the best day of the summer. I can't agree with you more, Layla. So, don't you think we should go out to cherish the day? Oh yes, why don't we hit the beach? That sounds awesome! How will we get there? I found a route on the map that shaves off half an hour. Amazing! Let's hit the beach now. Left at the big tree, right at the ice cream stand. Are we lost? Lost? No way. We're on an adventure. So, the beach. We have wandered around the whole morning. I'm melting under the sun, Layla. You are? So, I guess the beach can wait, though. Netflix called louder. Oh, Layla! Mom, 
I want a pet. Sure, Bobby. What kind of pet would you like? I want a goldfish. Great choice. They're easy to take care of. Here are our lovely hamsters, Bobby. Nah. How about a parrot? Parrots need a lot of attention. How about a cat? No way. Uh, I want a monkey. Monkey? Honey, monkeys belong in their natural habitat. I totally agree with your mom. Ah, I remember. I want a goldfish. Goldfish it is. Low maintenance and always ready to swim. Question. According to Bobby's mom, what animal belongs to their natural habitat? A. Goldfish B. Cats C. Monkeys Hey, Lily, have you seen that brunette boy? He's kind of cute, don't you think? Oh, uh, yes, he sure is. He's the guy from my biology class. Biology? Sounds smart. I like it. Can you introduce him to me? I can't. I don't remember his name. Wait, what? He's your classmate. You know me. I'm not good at remembering names at all. I have no idea, Emily. Lily! Lily, I found Tony. Hi there, Tony. Hey, Lily. How's it going? Pretty good. Everything is so fine. I'm glad you like my party. Wait, this is your party? Oh, yes. Why are you so surprised? Nothing. I was just joking with you. You are so bad at lying, Lily. You forgot Tony invited you to this party, didn't you? <laughs> Emily, you're my best friend, aren't you? <laughs> ha ha, Tony. Actually, Lily couldn't remember your name earlier. She had to ask me to ask your name. Yep, guilty as charged. Sorry about that. No worries. Happens all the time. Question. Why couldn't Lily introduce Tony to Emily? A. Lily didn't remember his name. B. Lily wasn't invited to his party. C. Lily didn't study biology with Tony. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to practice English every day to improve your skills. Watch the video at least three times a week and repeat daily conversations to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Try to mimic the intonation and pronunciation in the video to enhance your speaking fluency and pronunciation. Don't forget to like, share, and comment on my video. Please subscribe to the Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos.